There's no question that COVID-19 has changed our lives. For millions of office workers, sales reps, and teachers, home is now their place of work. Those in the gig economy seem to have suffered the most, and many are wondering how to pay their bills and what comes next. Retirement accounts and the stock market fall have caused many to dread the future. We're all learning how to pivot. Whatever situation you're in, You've surely had time to think about your work and how you can adjust moving forward. Probably all of you have used an online store in the last few months to assist you with social distancing and convenience to provide you the products that you like and need. Looking at data, online businesses are thriving and anyone who can deliver quality products to your door is considered a true hero. Did you know that 46% of Americans don't have an extra $400 to their name and they are working every single day? 69% of Americans don't have an extra $1,000 to their name. This economic problem was here before the pandemic. People say they don't have the time to start a business. Some say they don't have the money. Well, maybe it's time for a reset. The average household earns $60,000 per year and pays $14,000 in taxes, leaving $46,000 as take-home pay. The average cost of living is $53,000, which leaves a deficit of $7,000. We go to work, eating our way through the day at our desks, living off of caffeine, and going home at night with takeout dinners and evenings in front of the TV trying to recover. So the big problem is that many of you don't know that you are going into more debt every year. You're literally going into debt while going to work. According to Northwestern Mutual's 2018 Planning and Progress Study, the average consumer debt in the United States is $38,000 per person, and that excludes home mortgages. If you've ever considered a change in career, or an idea to get out of debt and a way to bolster your retirement income, I'd like to show you a better way. Let me introduce you to a company that I found that brings great financial success to many simply by giving referrals. It's a true business model and it's monitored like all business by the FTC. My company is Young Living Essential Oils. As a global lifestyle company, they have everything from the highest quality essential oils, as their name would suggest, to personal care products, toxin-free home essentials, and CBD oil. If you're going to start a business, wouldn't you like it to work online? Wouldn't you like it to have their own farms to grow their own products and be global? When you start any business, there's a lot of things to consider. Let's go down the list. First, am I working with a consumable product? Meaning, will someone need to order from me again and on a regular basis? Also, am I fulfilling a need or solving a problem so that someone will search me out? Am I able to create value and loyalty for my customers? How will I find and deliver my products? Is there a proven method for success? And finally, Will I be ethical and eco-friendly? Young Living ticks all of these boxes. We have hundreds of the highest quality consumable products, which fulfill many lifestyle needs, and we don't damage the environment. Young Living customer retention is one of the highest in the industry, at 40% for repeat business, and the company also pays out 49% of its revenue to the representatives. During this crisis, Young Living has been listed as essential and has stayed open, fulfilling orders and delivering needed products to families. If you've thought of starting a business, maybe you've shied away from it because you know the stats. Startup failure rates hover around 90% and the average micro business costs around $3,000. With the statistics I shared earlier, most Americans don't even have $400 extra dollars. Our business model costs a mere $165 to get started 
and you receive hundreds of dollars in products for that low startup cost. With a business like Young Living, there's no glass ceiling, there's no bias for race, sex, or religion, and nor does your education limit who you are. Whoever you are, you can do this business. With this successful business model, there's no inventory to keep, no invoicing, no payroll, no employees. You take control of your financial outcome and focus on building your legacy. If you're thinking about going back to school in order to get a higher paying job, as a W-2 employee, you are missing out on a huge tax break. Being self-employed, you can deduct your expenses, resulting in thousands of dollars in saved income. This is proven in our tax system, and every household should have a home-based business. You are overpaying in taxes if you are a W-2 employee. I was. Don't you think it's time to reset? Don't you think it's time to look forward in a different way? Let this crisis be your classroom. Think outside the box and let me show you how to have a sustainable business that can roll through recessions, pandemics, and whatever crisis may come next. Thanks for listening, and I hope that we will be working together soon.